is inference system so inference system has two fundamental rules the rule number one is known as modest ponens it is also known as rule of detachment the modest ponens rule says if the statement in p is assumed to be true and also the statement p imply q is accepted as true then q must be true that is this is given p implies q is accepted accepted as true and we assume that p is true therefore conclusion will be q must be true this is premises all the statement except conclusion uh, that is last one is are known as premises and last statement is known as, known as conclusion so modest ponens says if these are true then this is true tautology we can say p implies q and p agar true hai that will give conclusion q okay similarly we have fundamental rule number 2 that is known as hypothetical syllogism hypothetical syllogism says whenever two statement that is p implies q and q implies r are accepted as true then the statement p implies q is accepted as true that is p implies q and q implies r is accepted as true then the conclusion is p implies r is in tautology way that is p implies q and q implies r gives the conclusion p implies r ye sab aap truth table se bhi prove kar sakte hain ki ye true hai ki false simply aap p implies q ka truth table banaye P का बनाए इन दोनों का एंड करें दैट विल इक्वल टू क्यू ऐसे ही इसका ये दो फंडामेंटल रूल्स हैं कुछ और भी रूल्स होते हैं इन्फ्लुएंस के बट दीज आर टू फंडामेंटल रूल्स सम अदर वैलिड फॉर्म्स आर आल्सो देयर द फर्स्ट वन इज नोन एज मॉडर्न टॉलेंस मॉडर्न टॉलेंस से अगर पी इम्प्लाई क्यू इज एक्सेप्टेड एज ट्रू एंड देर इज एन अकेशन ऑफ क्यू that is q is false then the conclusion is negation of p the modest tonens also known as method of denial method of denial in tautology way p implies q and negation of q will give negation of p addition says if there is a p then we can add another variable to that p that is if p is true p or q is true for any other statement next is disjunctive syllogism disjunctive syllogism says p or q and negation of q will conclude p in tautology it is written like this ye panch rules aapko yaad hone chahiye what is modern ponens modern ponens is p imply q and p conclude q 
hypothetical syllogism is P imply Q, Q imply R, then P imply R. Modern prolence is P imply Q, negation of Q conclude negation of P. Addition is simply P is true, then P or Q is true for others, uh, all other statements. Disjunctive syllogism is P or Q is negate and negation of Q will give P. So now let's practice this with some examples. Like question one says if I study hard then I get A. And I study hard. So you have to guess the conclusion. If we say I study hard is P and I get A's is Q and I study hard is P and yani if P then Q P so conclusion will be Q right according to modern spawnance so the answer will be I get A's second says if it is rain, if it rained today, then we will not have party today. Second statement says, if we don't have party today, then we will party tomorrow, right? So we can assume it will rain today as P. We will not have party as Q. So we will not have party is similar Q, and we will have party tomorrow is R. That is equal to P implies Q, Q implies R, so conclusion will be P implies R. Answer is, if it rains today, then we will have party tomorrow. According to hypothetical syllogism. Right? Next is if this number is divisible by 9, then it is divisible by 3. This is first statement. The number is not divisible by 3, is second statement. Let's assume number is divisible by 9 as P, then it is divisible by 3 is Q. And it is not divisible by 3 will be negation of Q. And Q is divisible by 3 and not by 3 will be negation of Q. So according to modern tolerance, P imply Q, negation of Q will conclude negation of P. So the answer will be this number is not divisible by 9. Okay. Last question says either Ram is not guilty or Sham is telling the truth. Sham is not telling the truth. Yani ki, let's assume Ram is not guilty and Sham is telling the truth and not telling the truth will be negation of Q. So according to disjunctive syllogism, either or also P or Q, negation of Q will conclude negation of P. Sorry, P. So the answer will be Na is not guilty. This question is based on the rules of inference, that is, a valid form of uh, inference system. There are also invalid arguments or known as fallacies. Fallacies is an error in reasoning that result in an invalid argument. Basically, 
जो एरर्स होते हैं उनको फैलेसीज कहते हैं दे लुक प्रिटी मच सिमिलर टू रूल्स ऑफ इन्फ्लुंस सो आप कंफ्यूज मत होइएगा There are basically two types of fallacies. First is called fallacies of affirming the consequent, also known as affirming the converse. ये कहता है कि P imply Q. If then P, if P then Q is true and If P then Q and Q, the answer will be P. You can uh, you can see it is very similar to modern exponents. Modern exponents says P imply Q, P then conclusion is Q. But this is fallacy. ये एक एरर है तो so, आप इन दोनों में कंफ्यूज बिल्कुल मत होएगा। ये एक एरर है और ये रूल्स ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंस है ये दोनों एक जैसे दिखते हैं तो बहुत कंफ्यूजन होती है कुछ लोगों को दूसरा है द फैलेसी ऑफ डिनाइंग द हाइपोथीस इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज कंज्यूमिंग द इनवर्स इट सेज पी एम्प्लाइज क्यू negation of p will conclude negation of q and this is this looks familiar with modern stolens that says p imply q negation of q conclude negation of p but ye ek fallacy hai again ye ek error hai aapko ye yaad rakhna hai in dono ke beech mein confusion क्रिएट नहीं होने देनी ठीक है इसके सिर्फ यही दो टाइप्स हैं जो कि आपको याद रखने हैं फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सेज इफ सेट सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम देन ही ऑप्टेन द आंसर फाइव एंड सेट ऑप्टेन द आंसर फाइव सो बाय एज्यूमिंग सेट सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम एज बी देन ही ऑप्टेन आंसर फाइव एज क्यू and he obtained the answer 5 is q that is p then q and q conclu according to fallacy the conclusion will be p so the answer is sit solve this problem but this is according to fallacies not rules of inference next question says two sides of the triangles are equal then opposite angles are equal two sides of triangle are equal is assumed that p opposites are equal as q the next statement says two sides of triangle are not equal that is not p according to fallacy it will conclude negation of q That is, two opposite angles are not equal. Opposite angles are not equal. So this is known as fallacies. Dikti bilkul rules of inference ki tarah hai, but ye ek error hoti hai. In dono mein confuse bilkul bhi nahi hoga. This is all for today's session.